Hello, my name is Katie and I'm a double major in Historic Preservation and Art History at the University of Mary Washington. This video podcast today is for my Art History Fitness Seminar course. During this semester, I researched about the Great Flood of 1966 that caused severe damage throughout Venice. One of the many aspects that I touched upon was the international organizations that were created out of the flood to help save the city. The Save Venice Inc. Foundation is actually the leading organization to date that has contributed the most in the way of restoration in the city. The private organization has conducted over 450 restoration projects throughout the city and published their work in three books that are available on their website. One of the books they actually published was in collaboration with the Galleria della Cademia to highlight the many artistic works the museum possesses. The Galleria della Cademia is located on the Grand Canal in the Scuola Grande of Santa Maria della Corita. One of the many pieces that Save Venice Inc. collaborated on was the Veronese's Annunciation piece that he painted in 1578. When the conservators conducted treatment on this 8 by 18 foot oil painting, and they discovered that the painting was severely damaged due to the lack of care and restoration done in the 19th century. One of the significant changes they noticed was a big replacement patch. During the 19th century restoration efforts, the original section was cut out and replaced with a new lining of canvas in which the restorer attempted to disguise a new addition to the surface. Another section that was damaged was the Virgin's Blue Cape, as you can see here in this small detail. Most of the drapery was not visible because of the dry state to the oil painting, as well as the abrasion to the surface it had received over the years. Wanting to be a future conservator, one of the interesting parts when conducting treatment is the removal of the old varnish layer. This painting particularly had a thick, dense layer which obstructed the brilliant color palette that Veronese used in this piece. This detail of the columns on the right side of the canvas shows the in-progress removal of the varnish and the grime layer that was built up over the years. By removing the built up dirt and grime is when we can truly see what the art is meant for us to see. For example, during the time of the painting, Andrea Palladio was constructing the church of Santa Maria Nuova. The Inese witnessed the construction of the church and implemented the building into the Annunciation piece. After conservation treatment, the church is more pronounced, drawing the viewer's eye to it, which Veronese might have intended for. Another detail that was more visible after the varnish was removed was the Scuola dei Mercanti's Brotherhood symbol of a hand blessing the cross just above the middle arch. Since this painting was meant to be placed in their school, it would have been recognized by the Brotherhood as well as the two family crests at the base of the two main columns sitting on top of a larger base. The transformation of before and after treatment of paintings can reveal a wide array of information that was not noticed prior to conservation work. With Save Venice Inc. Foundation continuing to undertake conservation work of paintings throughout the city, new research can be formulated on the various artistic works that artists such as Veronese strive to relay in their paintings. With a combination of science, art, and history, art historians can learn a great deal more than their predecessors before them knew. Thank you so much for listening to my podcast. If you are interested in learning more about Save Venice Inc. Foundation and the work they are completing throughout the city, please visit their website at www.savevenice.org.